Who's next? Oh yeah, these guys! Well, he's still aching for my last job. Lasting longer than I thought. Still yesterday was wild, wasn't it? The, the new weapon we got from the workshop was a real killer, that's for sure. Dual blade, sort of a pimpy thing. Play more people than plan, thanks to you. This mistake on our part, we can even get paid for the extra kills. Man, don't be such a kill, Joy. You're the one who went on the biggest rampage in the end. Those muscles are all sore because he had to try to calm you down. Aw, uh, said I'm sorry about that. I need to sweat it. I owe you guys a few things, too. Hate to admit it, but Taeyeon has a point. We all should try to cool down our temper a little. As long as we're working as fixers, it's not going to raise more trouble than necessary. Former members of a killer syndicate now registered to an office and doing fixer work. Like, life really is full of surprises, isn't it? This office is a weird one, too. Can't believe people like us are accepted. Remember what the boss said, there are so many offices and fixtures these days, so standing out with the others is the best way to survive in this industry. Yep. Our outfit's also quite radical compared to what the other officers have. That's why it's filled with maniacs like us. All we gotta do is kill the targets in the most gruesome way possible and hang their bodies out in the open. No wonder everyone's excited to join. I don't think from one we've always been doing. At first I thought it was crazy that an office would do this kind of work. But I guess threatening targets and sending them a warning makes enough sense. It seems to be working well too. We've only been getting requests from no-name syndicates and poor folk. This office has a long ways to go. It does feel more like a pack of rats than a proper office. Got a message from the boss. Says we should drop by to get new work. <laughs> Even rascals like those can join offices these days, huh? The whole market's a red ocean. Everyone wants to be a fixer. That doesn't count as raking yourself over the coals because... Listen, I may not look like it, but I used to be hot stuff, you know? Then things happen and I fell to rock bottom. What do you do for a living? What did you do for a living? I did all kinds of stuff, really? Doing things within my ability. Is that so? That means you didn't get to do any proper work then. Yep. That's one of the singularities? That's a surprise these days. Nintendo Switch. Hey there, what the? She's pretty damn sturdy. How much did you spend on that bod? There's no need to lean to listen exhaust yourself, dear guest. You'll need to rampage with all you have soon enough. I don't like your soft tone. You're not human, are you? Look at her face now, I guess she really isn't. Another surprise, it's so rare to meet a sapient being that isn't human in this city. I know, right? We might make a ton of cash out of this. You find your book in this place. Yeah, immediately pisses off Angela, that's probably a bad idea for everyone involved. You're not doing anything, huh? Alright, let's do some gut harvesting on you then, if you're not gonna actually try anything. That'll be an easy kill next turn. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that wasn't enough. Alright. Well, now you're staggered. Yeah, we'll try that. All right, well, that worked. In game Sims for Angela. Yay, that was a blast. Let's do it again sometime. She says, knowing full well that we can repeat these. Hey, and McCullen and Naoki. All the enemies have less health than they really should, but... Oh, Naoki ain't doing shit. We'll get you a free fragile, then. Alright. Okay. Additional damage from attacks. What do you got, Pippi?
lead. That's nice. Do this. Nope, not a good swing. All right. Ow. We're rolling. All right. They're both going for you. Well, I do not like that, so. Ow. Damn! We actually lost Roland. Who's the closest to dying? You? Oh yeah, that should be a kill. Alright. Alright, we're getting staggered this turn. That sucks. But the chance to make it an attack zero is coming in clutch here. We're gonna do a zero here. I just realized your stamina is actually pretty low. You're both actually pretty low. But your stamina is lower. There we go. That's what we need. All right, next turn I'll be staggered already. Yeah, Pippi's got to come in clutch here. Yep, that's fine. All right. All right, now I'm sitting up right. Thank you, Canley. And uh, there we go. He's staggered. And we'll just do this. Yeah, not as much damage as I'd like. Doesn't have any bleed anymore. That did not work. And I got staggered. All right. Ow. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can just outpower him. Dang. Oh, we ain't doing that great. Just give me the damage that I need. Thank you. Good job, Pippi. Unskilled amateur headwear. Hey, work as always. I could learn more about Office's thanks to these guests. Uh, don't get too bothered by what they said about you, alright? You're trying to console me? Maybe, maybe not. I don't really care if you're actually human or not, you see? It's refreshing to hear it's been quite a while since I heard such words of comfort from even one person, too. Or in the sage age of humanity, after all. Age of humanity? What does that mean exactly? Don't stare at me too hard now. I don't know all the details either. At some point, intelligent or sapient beings that weren't human were actively driven out of the city into the outskirts. Not too sure why it took place, but the artificial intelligence ethics amendment was. Aya was introduced as part of that movement. It was already possible to create machines capable of feeling emotions and desires, actually. Those that are pretty much human, in other words. I guess that was the problem. Yeah, you're, you would want to redeem now and put yourself in queue, basically. There's a waiting list. A machine could ever be made to resemble humans, including replacement bodies. Well, there seems to have been a few exceptions. Hmm. Miku. I'll get you, Infinite. Not even a human brain resting in a robotic body. What floor did you want to be on, though? Hmm. Uh, an electronic copy of the map of her brain. Her body is entirely composed of mechanical components. Hot floor? Alright, we're not down there yet. I had a feeling. Looks like you've been living under a rock your whole life, seeing how you're oblivious to the workings of the world. Better be extra careful, then, especially if you're planning to leave here someday. You're a sapient android with emotions and desires. Your existence is most likely a complete violation of the AI ethics amendment. That's scary good at spotting abnormalities like you. Anomalies. In case you don't know, the head is basically a bunch of shady creeps that rule over the entire city. 
Oh, we probably won't ever get to face them. Wait, okay, this whole library is at a huge risk in the first place. Librarians over here also seem like they're humans, but not really human all at the same time. Just as you say, I was designed to feel emotions. I spent what felt like an eternity on a stage repeatedly performing a play that never seemed to end. Thank you for that follow. Tamer of the dragons. Clever retort not found. <clears throat> when I thought it was finally over, it turns out it never really ended. I gotta say, whoever created you must have really been something else, too. You don't know what birthday it's done, but breaking the rules designated by the head itself takes more than just guts. No one can escape the head's enforcement. You did all eventually die. But the library will be safe. It has to be safe. It's like a boat cage. No one is free to enter and no one is free to leave. And what's that dreamy speech you despise so much? What do you even mean by that? I will leave this place one day, take revenge on all things that made me into what I am, and earn true freedom. I don't care much either way. That's that and this is this. The card books. Hi, yes, sir. Name's Roland. Jaw the servant. I'm yes, sir. The patron librarian of Flora Technological Sciences. Is it just me, or is this a cold and piercing stare I'm sensing? Feels like kind of different from Jill's, I gotta say. What now? Don't tell me. Are you one of those types that resort to violence when someone talks crap? Your necktie was loose. <clears throat> Thanks. This is a nice fellow after all. You comply with Angela's orders so meekly. Mostly because I have no choice but to help her. When I think about it, Malco didn't seem too fond of Angela either. Is it a trend to dislike her or something? At least that we wouldn't approve of her. Angela, she utterly crushed our hopes at the very last moment. That's complicated. Why are you working for her as a librarian then? It was part of the deal. The deal, huh? This that deal is also why most of the floors of the library are locked off and the librarians there are asleep. Boy, I am not a fan of convoluted stories, especially if it involves sentimental stuff. Anyway, both you and I are obligated to help Angela now, aren't we? That's true. Give it our best shot then. Put her there. What is the meaning of this? A handshake, duh. Never tried it before? You know the I look forward to working with you kind. Come on, lighten up a little. If you can't avoid it, we might as well enjoy it. We're supposed to get you books like I do with Malkuth, right? Indeed, my role is to collect and sort books about the technology, technological sciences of the city. Since it's become clear that we are both well aware of our occupations, kindly take your leave now. Fine, fine, I was about to anyway. We have a yes on the floor. Do I look Do like I, I know what a JPEG is? I'm pretty sure this is the one I actually need to progress. Let's see if we can get these. We got McCullen's page and Tayen's page, but we didn't get Naoki's page, which is the one I wanted for Pippi. Alright. Perfect. Hmm. Oh god, Malkit, are you okay? Malkit, are you okay? <laughs> You're too slow! I feel like I need uh, another two cost. That'll work. Alright, let's try and take this on again. Now that we have something a little bit stronger. Good Sagger, and this one does nothing. You've been by a smooth, a smooth Sephiroth. Should I be trying to hit her here? Or should I focus on killing this one off? Yeah, I sort of want to do it here. I want to use killing the allies for the sake of remo removing all of her light. This is gonna be rough. Dang. That's not good because she's gonna do something this time. 
Time to die. Wow, I somehow didn't die from that. Alright, if I can manage to somehow kill you this scene, then I'm good. So I'm gonna try and rampage your shit. Never mind, you get to attack first. <sighs> Alright. Got an idea of. You always roll like a six, don't you? So you always go first. Oh, that didn't go as well as the last time. Alright. You have two fragile. Yep, that's good damage. You're not doing anything yet. Uh, you're doing that, and you're doing this. I'm gonna work on getting your stagger lower. Yep, you're definitely gonna hit me now. So I may as well focus on getting your thing down since I'm gonna take this damage regardless. All right, I was staggered. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that ember is probably death, isn't it? Dead. I wish I had more things that started with blue. Oh, this ought to work, though. Yep, you're dead anyway. And Scorch Girl is just dead. Okay. Oh, it's half of max HP, so killing both of the other ones kills her. All right, cool. Now I'm following it. Okay. So I'll have the books helped? Yep, I'm starting them all somehow. You've been working, thankfully. That's good to hear. By the way, I think I remember Jello saying something along the lines of you earn and got fleshy body. Halfway there. Were you like not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. So you had a brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body here. It's actually pretty impressive, thanks to the library's power, right? Guessing? Yeah, I think so. Can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I think that you don't really like having your body back. You didn't seem too happy back then. Oh no, I actually do like it. It's just that this isn't exactly how I want things to go down. What did you do in the past then? Yeah, I wonder. What was I in the past, really? Wouldn't believe it, but this is actually my third try at life. This library and its librarians have a lot of history behind them. Third try? Can you come back from the grave or something? The accumulated memories from my two previous bodies that were carried over, to be precise. My past selves. I never really thought about it this way before. Difficult problem you're facing there. How about you present your present self? I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. And an idiot who tried to reach for something out of my means and ended up causing trouble, I suppose. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Let's not get too dark here. Let's just calm down for a moment. Take a deep breath. And let it out. Phew. <laughs> Breathing lessons. Relax now? Yeah, it really helped. Thanks, Rowan. The meme. <laughs> breathe, bitch, breathe! You're upset over things that I can't do anything about? I gotta start with the things I can take care of first. Alright, work hard to mark two. Yep, work together. Urban myth. Into urban myth. You don't have enough time to think about the terror at the end of the song before the setting of the song. Any more reports on the distortion with the Hana Association or his wide section one? None, sir. They're all observing the situation for now. They did nominate a person of a, a number of likely suspects, however. Tomorrow we've had two urban plagues, the Laundry of Dreams and Yesterday's Promise, and one urban legend, the Church of Gears. The investigation hasn't been going on too well, is it? Oh, and the library, a recently appointed urban myth, is also on the list of possible sources. Ah, so even the higher-ups are clueless, aren't they? Because they're throwing out random guesses now. 
Starting to get used to sorting out books now. Oh, why are you helping me so submissively? Well, I remember when you said you'll kill me if I don't cooperate, because I sure do. And I can't leave here by myself either. Oh, you don't appear to be motivated by fear. I've seen quite a lot of people crawl along the floor, shook with fear and terror. Looking from my past observations, I doubt you're helping me simply because you're afraid of dying. What the hell were you doing in the past? That's a good question. Hey, dish soap! To be honest, I have a few things I want to know about this place, too. Such as? You said you want to get the one perfect book as you gather books about the city, right? Figure I could ride into some fun experiences if I joined you on that journey. I don't have a whole lot to do out there anyway. I'd go back to being a washed-up fixer, scraping at the bottom of the barrel again. There is one thing I've been meaning to figure out more than anything else. Think of that follow. Hoping I could maybe find an answer here one day if I stick around and help you out. You have a coincidence of interest, I see. Sure, as much as I can exploit you, you're free to make use of me. Try being careful about it, though. A careless attempt can seriously get you killed. She should be way too vicious with words. I'm just imagining him choking here while screaming, Breathe! <laughs> You better not pry into my past any further. I already feel like slowly melting your limbs this time. Fine, jeez. Um, I have a question, ma'am. Do you take questions, ma'am? What is it now? Make sure it's an appropriate question. I did warn you already. Simple to the librarians here. They don't really feel like real humans. They don't seem to be machines or artificial creatures either. Entities called abnormalities and employees, both of which were thoroughly exploited by the facility that once stood upon where we are. They're just like me in that sense. Originated from humans taken advantage of and abandoned once grown out of use. I don't know. What you're doing with them now still looks like exploitation. They were broken. They couldn't even sustain a stable form, and their existence was so fragile that they could fade away at any moment. They barely kept together as I've bound them to a physical body and a book. All I can do for them now is find the one book that will free me and the librarians. So done, yeah, basically. Going to release the librarians? That's the only way for any of us to leave, you know? I used the same kind of power to reconstruct your body. Huh. Just remember this. As we collect numerous books from our guests, we will eventually reach the well, one absolute book that contains everything. Oh, uh, you got bell. Super hard. Share this with your friends too.